Hi folks. You right there. I'm saying hi to you. How's it going? My poison ivy, Please poison oak. To route. Excuse me. My poison ivy, my poison oak is getting better. It still looks kind of ugly. I'll give you a little warning in advance. I'm going to show you. Uh, it's getting better. It's drying up and going down. I still have some here, here, and along here, but it's all receding. It's in retreat. I'm winning the war. I've won a few pretty good battles already, but uh, the war is about to be wrapped up, I think, and uh, let me tell you, I think I kicked his butt. It, it, it put up a pretty good fight, I'll say. It was a really good fighter. It's still fighting. I, uh, I have to respect its its uh, ability to fight, but I'm stronger. I got friends in high places. Tell hey, you what. Okay. I'm gonna go inside real quick and grab a coffee. I'll be right back in here. Obviously you've gathered this is the next morning already. My days are all kind of mixed up right now. Because I don't know why, I'm just, I've been in a bit of a rush, but after this, It'll be a little bit better. I think I'm gonna try and go home instead of resetting on the road. I was thinking, why am I gonna go to Moose Jaw and reset in Moose Jaw, sit there for a whole day, day and a half? Why not just go home? It's sort of on the way. So I checked how much further it would be to go up through North Dakota, up through Emerson and go home to reset there. It's only 60 kilometers or like 35 miles further overall. And I can be home. So we're gonna we're gonna try and do that. Let's go get loaded first, though, before we make any final decisions on that. Uh, I've got to load up some insulation, I think. I think, and then I have to tarp it, and we'll see what's gonna happen from there. First, I need my coffee. I don't know what's going on. Diesel, you want a coffee? I want a coffee. But I'm gonna drive up closer to the building because I'm way in the booties out in the back. This is the only spot available when I got here last night. I'm gonna roll on up a little closer to the building because we're lazy today. Let's just be honest. Let's not lie about it. I don't want to walk that far this morning. I know I'm always like, hey, you guys should always, you know, take the opportunity to walk. Some of you need it more than others. I need it more than others. Look at me. Not today, though. Not today. Can I park like right over here? This would be good enough, eh? Why not? Oh yeah, right here. Oh yeah. Good enough. I saved myself what? 100 meters there? Park between these fine people with these tires that aren't tied down at all. <laughs> that must be fun. Can I get even closer? No, this is good. This is good. The building's right there on the right. Good enough. Don't want to be too lazy. Just lazy enough. Alrighty, alright. Coffee. Check. Barbecue rack o' ribs. Check. Now that is the breakfast of champions. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're gonna say it is today, because I'm a champion. All right, let's get ready for uh, our day here. We gotta go about an hour, hour and a half down the road to where we're gonna load. That'll probably take most of the afternoon to get that done. And then we can drive the rest of the day today and all day tomorrow, which will bring us to Saturday evening. We'll be home, be home for Sunday. Head out to Fort McMurray Sunday night if I can. Shoot, if I wanna reset, I'm gonna have to leave Monday morning. It's gonna be a long day, a really long day. Well, if I don't get a reset, that's fine. I'm going to be back the next week, and I do have hours to recap. I might have to just leave Sunday evening instead, but at least I get some time at home, right? The weather is still beautiful down here in Greenville, Illinois. This is probably, what, central Illinois or something? I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it is in the Illinois state, away from Chicago. So I like it. <laughs> Get ourselves 
onto the interstate. This is always the best part of the day when you first start rolling. Here we go. 48 kilometers on I-70 West. Aye, aye, Captain. So today should be a really good day. Very curious to see what this load is going to look like. I hope it's not going to be hard to tarp. I have a feeling it's just going to be a square rectangle. So it'll be super easy. I haven't tarped in quite a while, actually. Hey, I haven't had a load that I needed to tarp in know, almost a month. It's been kind of nice. I'm lost in St. Louis. I don't know if Mandy forgot to tell me to turn. Or if she's just playing games with me. 500 meters, turn left on Chowdo Avenue. Because I don't remember her telling me to turn onto the interstate going around St. Louis. So I went into St. Louis and then suddenly she's telling me to turn around downtown and come through here to get back on the freeway. I'm like, well, I was on the freeway. Why didn't you leave me off the freeway? If you wanted me to take that freeway, why didn't you tell me to take that freeway, right? I guess she just wanted to show me St. Louis a little bit. a little bit of a tourist. I gotta turn left here. This one? This one, okay. All right. Don't lead me down dark paths, Mandy, I'm trusting you. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna double check your work now that we're at a light. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Oh, I see, okay, so turn left and then turn right and it's gonna spit me back out onto the interstate I should have been on. What interstate is that? Tell me, what interstate are you? Interstate 55. Well, why didn't you tell me to turn on to the 55? Why am I here? You know, you can't trust your GPS. People always say, don't trust your GPS. Well, I can't double check every single little turn on my route that she tells me before I go, right? I just take a look at the overall route and it looked good. Maybe I missed her saying that I should turn. Maybe she maybe she did tell me to turn on to the 55. And maybe I'm the one that wasn't paying attention. Then turn right on Truman Parkway. I mean, I was listening to a talk radio show, so maybe I just didn't hear it. It wasn't that loud, though. I think she just is messing with me. Any of you live in St. Louis? I'm in your city. Very nice, very nice. Very nice city you got going on here. A little bit of an older district we're in right now. In 500 meters, turn right on the highway. This makes me want my motorcycle again. I want to go touring around. You know, I I was gonna put my motorcycle up for sale this year again. I'm convinced, because I want to buy a a work quad for us, right? I think I still should do that, but I'm gonna miss it, you know? The purpose uh, that I bought my motorcycle was because it's light and it's it's narrow, so it would be very easy to uh, take with me on the truck. If I had a truck with a, a proper mount system behind the bunk, right? This is where you want me to turn, right? Oh, a little narrower than I thought it was. Why is there a big curb here? Let's not hit the curb. There we go. Continue 700 meters, then take back to I-55. Okay, I-55, that's where we should be. Oh, there's a big, like, cathedral or big church here on our right. One of the old style. I love those buildings. They don't build them like that anymore. I wish they did. An interesting neighborhood. Oh, bumpy road though. Oh, A.T. Still University. Take back to I-55. That looks like a pretty old place too. Not this building here on the left, but there's some buildings further behind it that look like it. probably the original buildings. Wow, that's cool. So much history in these old cities. Take back to I-55. Britain, I would really like to go visit Europe. Because, you know, I, I look at the old districts of our North American cities and I'm like, wow, so much history. Can you imagine going to Europe, seeing all the history in Europe? I really wanted to go see Notre Dame before it burnt, but I hope that they're going to rebuild it exactly like it was. I really hope they don't change it. Those timbers that burnt were 850, were, were 
put there 850 years ago and they were a few hundred years old so that was like a thousand year old wood that was built that held up that roof a thousand years old so sad to see history burn even if you're not religious I mean it's just sad to see history burn and here is our next load all tied down tarped ready to rock 2,000 mile journey north way up in northern Alberta styrofoam insulation I like this stuff here should be fun it's going to Fort McMurray Alberta so after I loaded I just came here to Warrington Missouri I had to get through st. Louis again that was madness right during rush hour so I stopped here, checked the load, tightened the straps, and uh, have a shower. So we walk the weasel and we're ready to go. Oh, there's somebody coming. Okay, we'll wait for you, buddy. Here he comes, Mr. Steel Hauler. I haul that steel too. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now I gotta go. So I can get out of here without hitting anybody. That's always the plan. Just enough room. They build these parking lots in such a way that you can fit into the parking spots. Like you can fit into any parking spot. Just barely by the skin of your teeth. But hey, they can say on the app that they got 120 parking spots. So that makes them look good. I noticed that these Flying J's have these truck care centers now, eh? It's kind of nice. They're kind of following the example of TA and Petro. I like that. There should be a shop at every truck stop. It's really good thinking. It's the perfect place to get your truck serviced. We're officially in Iowa. Iowa. I owe you nothing. Look at this big building on the left. Fancy. Is that like Town Hall or what? Wow. What town is this? Very fancy. Very nice. Very nice, Iowa. Am I in a lane? I can't even tell where the lanes are. Oh, wait, this is the lane. Okay. Look at this. Hey, Steinbach, cough, cough. You see how their main street has flashing yellow lights at night? So you can just sort of float through here? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Instead of catching every red light at 2 a.m. when there's no one else around. They might do that on purpose, though, because Steinbeck has a problem with street racers on Main Street. I was young once, too, I understand. But now that I'm older, it's annoying, and I totally understand. The adults of my day wishing we would stop. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. We would, I, I never would street race down Steinbeck, but I know kids my age that that was always the place to be. You know, go to Main Street. Show off your car to all the girls. That's right. None of us had cars to show off, but hey, took, took whatever we had and we'd give her. I think this town now is called Jewel, Iowa. I'm stopping here at the Loves. It's time to go to bed. I'm tired. I'm gonna edit some videos. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow, one of these days. Turns out, unfortunately, I'm not gonna have any time to stop at home like I wanted to. I'm just gonna go straight there. It's 150 kilometers out of my way to go home instead of crossing through into Saskatchewan, which is totally worth it if I get to spend a full day at home and reset and get some good time in, but I would have only gotten like an hour, if that. So it's a, it's a long ways to go around for an hour. And then I'd be very rushed. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have gotten to my destination when I wanted to. 
I just talked to Britt about it and we just decided, you know what, it's just best if I just hammer down, go on straight through. So we've got to come back for next weekend anyways, the following weekend, so I'll be back in uh, about another week on the road. But for tonight, we are done. Pulling into the Love's truck stop. This is huge. Lots of parking here. Yeah, let's see if I can find myself a decent parking spot. Look, this is really huge. Like, there's parking spots back here in the back, but it's so far away from the building. Yes, yeah, a little walk never hurt anybody. I'll come back around if there's nothing better. I'm gonna see what's what's available. Check out the parking situation. Oh, they don't have much parking at all near the building. It's all the way back here. The building's up up front there to the right. Not this shop. Not the tire shop here on the right. The, the one further out there behind the pumps yet. A bit of a hike. Man, I should have packed my hiking boots. At least there's parking. It's so often you get to these truck stops at this time of night and no parking's available. This guy parked right here. I don't want to be that lazy. All right, we'll just do a little U-turn, go park in the back. Whatever. Whatever. Don't really need anything tonight anyways. I just wanted to buy some milk. You know what I should do? Maybe I should go park in front of the pumps like this Tyson guy did. Go inside, grab my milk. And then go and park. That's a nice... It's a nice night. I, I could use the walk. I'll go park in the back there and walk. I'm gonna have to go this way though, because I gotta. I don't want to blindside it in. I gotta back into my right. Uh, pardon me, to my left. What am I talking about? I don't want to back to my right. That's my blindside. I don't want to end up hitting somebody. I'm tired. It's late at night, and I don't want to deal with that. There's some nice spots here, actually. Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever, I made my decision. We're parking in the back. Stop trying to change my mind. Less chance people will come and park right beside me then, too. There is this guy's... Reefer running? No. It is a swift truck, though, so I'm a little nervous. He's got to get out of here sometime or other. A little close to him for comfort there. It's okay. You know what? It'll be just fine. All right, Diesel, let's take you outside real quick, all right? No, no, you gotta stay there. I'll come around to your side. I got the key, don't worry, I won't forget. I got the key. I got my eye on you, Swift. Don't try anything Swifty. A little close for comfort. Oh, get your steps out. Come here. See, I parked in that spot specifically because there's a utility trailer that's parked in this spot. That means that I can put my steps out there and they're not going to be in anybody's way. I can still get the pickup in here to pick this up, whatever this is doing here. Come on, Diesel. Come on, bud. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I got the poop bags, man. Give her. Give her, no, 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 don't pee on the trailer. What are you doing? No, not on the garbage can either. Come on, old man, what are you? Losing your memory? There you go. I peed on my mud flap. 
How dare you pee on my mud flap? Only I can pee on my tires and my mud flaps. That's a special privilege. So that's the load. Going all the way up to Fort McMurray, Alberta. It's actually very light, very, very light. I can hardly notice there's anything on the trailer behind me. And the tarping system that they had here, you should have seen it. I wasn't allowed to film there. They made that very clear. But uh, they had this tarp system where they, they unrolled your tarps for you. You don't even get out of your trucks. They do it all for you. They hook it onto this machine, which lifts it up. And then you drive underneath your tarps and then the machine comes back down and puts your tarps over your load for you. All in like two minutes. And all you gotta do is just pull out. Like they bungee it on the four corners just so that it doesn't fly away. You drive out of the little shack and you just bungee it down real good and you're out of there. It takes literally like 20 minutes to tarp it. My mind is blown. My mind is blown. I mean, it's a pretty simple tarp job. It's just a big rectangle, like I figured it would be, but still, that would have taken me about two hours probably if I had to climb up on top there with a step ladder and stuff. I had to risk, I would have had to risk falling off, breaking my face or my neck, one of the two. Or worse, my GoPro. But anyways, the camera's about to die, so I guess I gotta cut it short here. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna try to start putting a little bit more effort into these videos, because I've been trying to take it easy lately, just because it's getting a little bit overwhelmed. A lot of things going on right now, and, uh, but I wanna make sure I keep these good and entertaining for you, and uh, up to the par that I like them to be at at the standard I like them to be at, which is a little bit higher than, than it's been, and I apologize for that, but meet me here tomorrow, and we'll see what we can do. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe.